There are plenty of brilliant sub $1,000 options out there. Whether you need a business laptop for working on the go, a gaming laptop that lets you drag on a budget, or a 2 in 1 laptop that allows you to transform your laptop into a tablet. Depending on who you are and what you need, there are some features you'll be willing to sacrifice, others not so much. For example, if you simply need a laptop for casual web surfing and productivity apps, you should be fine with a lower end CPU. However, if you're constantly on the move and use your laptop outdoors, you may not be able to sacrifice a screen with high brightness or a laptop with good battery life. We have listed the top 5 gaming laptops under $1000 2022 and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. Lenovo Legion 5 15.6 inches this Lenovo gaming laptop comes with an AMD Ryzen 7 5800H processor, an RDX 3050 Ti GPU, 16GB of RAM, and a 512GB SSD. It also comes with a larger 15.3 inches 1080p 165Hz display. With the Ryzen 7 CPU, RDX 3050 Ti GPU, and 16GB of RAM, you'll be able to max out any games you throw at this laptop. Not to mention, the addition of a 165Hz refresh rate display will provide an incredibly smooth in-game experience. The one downside of this Ryzen 7 gaming laptop though is that it technically doesn't come in under $1,000, rather it comes at $1,050. So in the end, if you've got $1,000 to spend on a new laptop and you can bump your budget up just another $50, this laptop is going to give you a much better hardware configuration than any of the other sub $1,000 gaming laptops out there. Number 4. Acer Nitro 5 the Nitro 5 is one of the most powerful laptops you can get for its low price point. If you're looking to dip your toes into the world of gaming PCs, the Nitro 5 is a brilliant choice for a great 1080p experience. Equipped with an AMD Ryzen 5 processor and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, the Nitro 5 can pump out 60 frames per second on many taxing AAA games. Many multiplayer games will be super smooth even at the highest graphic settings. The Nitro 5 can run it at 60 frames per second on the highest graphic settings. However, for the Nitro 5 to offer that kind of powerful hardware at such a low price, it makes compromises in other areas. At over 5 pounds and an inch thick, this 15.6 inch laptop can be hard to carry. Meanwhile, its display is average at best and the tacky plastic body leaves a lot to be desired. As a first gaming PC for esports and average AAA games, the Nitro 5 is a fantastic pick. It's a clear step above laptops with a discrete GPU and it has a decent battery life to boot. This piece proves you don't need to spend thousands of dollars for a good gaming laptop. Number 3. ASUS TUF F17 This cheap laptop for gaming comes with an inviting 7.3-inch display without being much chunkier than similar devices with smaller screens. It's only 0.99 inches thick when closed, which is good if portability is important. You'd expect a machine like this to be a lot heavier than other laptops on the market, but at 5.73 pounds, it's just right. The display has a refresh rate of 144Hz, which is highly noticeable when playing games. As long as you don't experience lag, you'll get one of the best large displays among gaming laptops under $1,000. Tough 17 laptop is equipped with a 2.6GHz hexa-core Intel Core i5-10300H processor and an NVIDIA GDX1650 Ti GPU, ensuring that you can put that giant screen to good use. Other specs are what you might expect, 8GB of DDR4 RAM and 512GB of SSD for storage. With 4 heat pipes and 3 heat sinks, the cooling system in the laptop is top-notch. The fans use a self-cleaning design that ensures debris doesn't prevent them from cooling the machine. When the RGB backlight is on, buttons can shine brighter than the other parts of the keyboard. Audio on this machine is surprisingly good for a budget gaming laptop. It doesn't get particularly sharp, but the sound is quite sharp and the bass is better than some of the other laptops in the same price range. When it comes to connectivity, you get 3 USB-C, 1 USB-C, a 3.5mm audio jack, Ethernet, and an HDMI port. With a 48 watt hour battery, Tough F17 acts more like a remote desktop than an actual laptop. If you don't keep the power adapter on you, you can expect it to last for about an hour. Number 2. HP Pavilion Gaming 15-inch Laptop The HP Pavilion Gaming 15 laptop Intel Core i5-9300H 9th Gen NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, 12GB, 256GB SSD Windows that comes with striking features and specifications. 
This ideal computing device is powered with 2.4GHz clock speed that lets you play games without any lags or interruptions. The dimensions of this laptop are 360x256x23.4mm and it weighs around 2.24kg. Hence, you can carry this lightweight and compact laptop in your backpack. The HP Pavilion 15 Gaming offers solid 1080p performance for a wide range of games. You won't be able to play games like Control, Cyberpunk 2077, or Metro Exodus at the highest graphical settings and still get 60 frames per second. But eSports will definitely take advantage of the Pavilion 15's gaming monitor. This is all around an incredible laptop for kicking back in team-based shooters after a long day of heavy work. Number 1. Dell G15 Ryzen Edition the Dell G15 Ryzen Edition is one of the boldest looking affordable gaming laptops on the market. The hinge and rear sections are chunkier than usual, resembling a mobile workstation, but the device remains distinctively G-series. A part of the chassis is made in dark grey while the rest comes in a slightly lighter shade with dark grey spots that Dell calls the phantom grey pattern. Weighing 5.39 pounds, it's somewhat heavy but not even close as bulky as some other good gaming laptops we've looked at, especially with that configuration. The display is 15.6 inches and it supports 1080p resolution. It has a 120Hz refresh rate, which is good enough for everyday gaming. The best part about the screen is the contrast ratio of 1300 to 1, which gives the image depth a plenty of punch. The 3.6GHz hexa-core AMD Ryzen 5 5600H processor offers great performance. The laptop's NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card runs at 125 watts and has the usual 6GB of RAM. The rest of the specs are just what you'd expect, 8GB of DDR4 RAM and a 512GB SSD, which is enough for regular gaming. The cooler has several shared pipes between CPU and GPU, and the temperature stays low even in extreme conditions. All buttons are backlit and you can choose between dim and bright settings. The only downside is that the arrow keys are smaller than the rest. You can't expect a cheap gaming laptop to deliver perfect sound and the G15 is a good example. The speakers are almost entirely free of bass, while superior quality sounds are few. The connectivity around this hefty chassis is decent, with two USB 2, one USB 3, one USB C, an HDMI, a headphone combo jack, and an Ethernet port. In terms of battery life, it lasts about 2 hours when gaming, and it's better to stay plugged in when playing. However, when used for web browsing or working, it can run for 9 hours. Buying Guide For the best gaming experience with a budget gaming laptop, you want to make sure you get the most graphics power affordable from the start since this can't be upgraded later, unlike memory or storage. A cheap gaming laptop with an NVIDIA GDX 1650 normally starts around $700, though the current chip shortage has prices up and supplies low. That chip gives you enough graphics performance to play the newest, demanding games at medium settings. Spending between $800 and $1000 will get you a laptop with GTX 1650Ti, a 1660Ti, or even 3050Ti for a better gaming experience. If you're on a strict budget when shopping for a cheap gaming laptop, again, go with an NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics chip. If you can afford to spend closer to $1000, you'll be better off in the long run as you'll be able to play more demanding games now and later. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.